Sammy Lee here. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers. All up in this bitch. What up? We're gonna hit you with the versus video real quick. Nike versus Nike. Nike versus Nike. Uh, pretty much the finals. Uh, yeah. LeBron versus KD. We got the KD 10 going toe to toe with the LeBron 14. 14. Uh, so let's get right into it. Um, traction outsole. Uh, on the LeBron, uh, traction is pretty good. It's okay. Um, it's it's translucent in the colorway I have, and. Um, Picks up a little bit of dust, yeah. actually a good amount of it, but overall, I, I, I'd say it's okay. Yeah. Um, outdoor, you should be okay too. Yeah. The KD10 is uh, is has good traction. It does pick up some dust, but the durability just sucks. It was fraying off on the hardwood uh, floors. I mean, even after a few days, which which is a bummer. Um, so I, I I would go LeBron 14. Really. Well, I mean, like, just pure stopping power, which one's better? Hmm. I about the same. About the same? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, LeBron 14 for the win. Mm -hmm. I'm moving on to the cushioning system. In the LeBron 14, you have pods, and they've been doing that for way too long. And they need to pods. Just, when will it end? They need to end that shit. You know what I'm when saying? When will the madness end? Seriously. But, um... Yeah, so you have hex pods in the forefoot, and you can feel it just a little bit. In the heel, uh, there's a full, like, zoom bag, like, full, like, huge zoom unit in the heel. Mm -hmm. It's bottom loaded, though, um, so you can't really feel it uh, underneath your foot, but you can kind of feel, like, the, the, the shoe, like, like, going up and down a little bit. Yeah. Kind of weird. But um, impact protection is really good. You don't really feel super responsive and low to the ground, but... Um, it's really plush and you have a little bit of bounce. So if you're a bigger dude, it should be good. Yeah, and the KD10 is uh, a bit more cushion. It's a full length zoom setup and you're gonna get a ton of impact protection and even a good amount of bounce. Um, it, it does uh, kind of thin out in the forefoot, but you still feel it a lot more than the LeBron. Uh, I personally would, would go with the, uh, with the KDs, um, but if you're not into, another reason I'm gonna go with the KDs is because uh, the the uh, external pod setup is like I, I feel a little unstable I've never been a big fan of that so you know like the KD10s have like a, a nicer heel to toe and I just feel a little more stable in it plus the impact protection is a little better all right so the KD10 for the win mm -hmm. all right moving on to the materials all right so the LeBron 14 has a foam bag mesh upper Feels uh, okay you know I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not mad at it mm -hmm. but I, I I feel like it's not as good as like a performance woven or like a knit or anything like that. But it gets the job done, it gets soft, it has a short break in time, and it has a lot of support, obviously. And you have a strap, but um, in the KD10s... Uh, in the KD10s, you got some real nice material. Very nice. Uh, real nice fly knit, and then you have like a little suede type of wings on the, on the back by the ankle. Um, real thick, plush laces. Um, and it, it, it's got like a pull tab on the front and back. Um, so does the LeBron, but it's just real soft, a real soft material in the KDs. Materials are just better in the KDs. Yes. They're more premium. Um, you know, it does affect support, which we'll get into in a second, but just the straight materials, KD10 for the win. Okay. Now moving on to the fit. The fit. Um, weird. Weird, yeah. Um, for both, really. The KD10 is super narrow. I do have a super narrow foot, so it fits me great. I went down um, a half a size, or did I go full size down? I went down a little bit because I like a snug fit in the toe, especially with a knit material. Yep. So, but uh, the KDs fit really good. The LeBrons fit my foot good too, better than previous LeBrons. Not so wide, you know. Uh, a lot of LeBrons are really wide, um, but you know, I, I would go KD ten. Yes. You know. I mean, unless you have a wide foot. Unless you have a wide foot, go yes. LeBron's. Okay. Moving on to support. Obviously, the LeBron 14 is better. Uh, LeBron is a... Um, uh, Savage? Yes. He's a, a beast. He, he's not a bigger dude because Katie's tall as fuck. Yeah. But um, he's a bigger dude. You know but what he's I'm like, saying? yeah. You know? Weight weight goes a long way. 225? Yeah. Weight goes a long way. But Katie's like Katie what? weighs like 130, I One, think. <laughs> 180 or something? <laughs> KD is fucking seven, twelve, and one thirty. Yeah. Um, anyways, yeah. So support is, a, you know, that's a negative for the KD ten. Yes. And a positive in a big way for the LeBron. So, 
that's one area that I really prefer the LeBrons. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you're doing hard cuts and crosses, or if you're a bigger dude, you're gonna feel that difference. Um, so uh, LeBrons for the win there. Now lockdown. Mm. Eh, LeBron 14 wasn't that good. No, it wasn't great. Yeah, I'll give it to KD 10 by a little bit. Um, What's easier to put on? The KD 10. KD 10. Yeah. LeBron 14 also has like a little bit of like a heel. You know what? What's it called? Heel. Uh, heel arch? tab. Heel tab thing. Yeah. Um. Uh. But so I guess KD 10 is a little bit easier. Yeah. Um. Very very easy to put on the KD 10. Surprisingly mm -hmm. easy for a one booty upper. Um. Okay. Now. Moving on to uh, ventilation. Ventilation. Uh. KD 10. KD 10. Durability. Durability. LeBron no by shit. a mile. No shit. So uh, aesthetics. KD10. KD10. Yeah, of course. Although I think it's one of the better looking LeBrons, uh, main signature LeBrons in a while. The LeBron 13 is the best looking LeBron. Well, for sure, that's yeah. the best. With that, and um, you know, as far as best looking shoes of all time, you're talking LeBron 14, you're talking Air Monarch. Yeah. Um, and Vibram Five Fingers. Yeah, yeah. Now, wrapping things up, it was uh, they're two of Nike's top tier. Uh, signature shoes, you know, most expensive, whatever. Uh, they went toe to toe in the finals. Exactly. It's so crazy. Yeah, the KDs are one fifty, and the Lebrons are one seventy five. Mm -hmm. So twenty five dollars more for the Lebrons. Y you also get like shittier materials. I mean, like there's like no fly in it. It's not a full length zoom, you know. So yeah. um, I guess KD ten bang for your buck is better. Yeah. I guess, but like performance wise, what would you what would you think? You know, I'm gonna go with the KD10, but it's a tricky one because these shoes are like kind of polar opposites. Now, if you wanted a lot of support and um, durability, and uh, you know, even some good traction, and you know, you got a wider foot, you're probably gonna want it with the LeBrons. Yes. Okay, but if you have a narrower foot or you're more concerned about you know, cush ride, impact protection, you don't need a shit ton of support then you for sure go with the KD-10s. And if money's an issue, you go with the KD-10s. Um, but there's also a big, uh, you know, uh, a big plus in the LeBrons for durability. Yes. Huge plus. I, I don't imagine the KDs lasting that long. Um, you know, mine are already wearing down, so. The other thing is casually, KD-10s is a really dope casual, casual shoe as well. It looks dope. So and you can wear that out. Yes. You can wear them just at church, dog. <laughs> uh, but that's it. Hope we helped you guys out. Soul Brothers. We'll catch you in the next one later. Peace.